Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom, uh, just a walk through the book of Proverbs, uh, some of the best biblical wisdom, certainly uh, the best wisdom in the history of humanity is contained in the scriptures, but particularly the book of, of Proverbs is a book called a book of wisdom. And so I want you to listen to the first four verses of Proverbs chapter one, and just let this kind of soak into your heart. Let these words strike you and let them go into your mind and they get you thinking about this topic of wisdom. The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel. For gaining wisdom and instruction, for understanding words of insight, for receiving instruction in prudent behavior, doing what is right and just and fair, for giving prudence to those who are simple, knowledge and discretion to the young. There's a lot in these opening four verses. But I want you to first think about something. It says it's from Solomon. If you know the Bible at all, you know that Solomon was not perfect. He made some massive, unwise decisions in his life, but God did choose to pour through him wisdom for us. And because of that, he was called the wisest man who ever lived. Here's the key. The wisest person who ever lived is still not God. Is still still not perfect. The wisest person in this world, except for Jesus who is perfect, the wisest person to walk in this world is still foolish in many ways, and Solomon was, but God used an ordinary person like Solomon to pour his wisdom into our hearts and our lives through the word. In this passage is instruction for life. As you begin to read the book of Proverbs, the light comes on. Man, that would help my marriage. That would help my family. That would help my personal life. That would help my business life. That would help my financial decisions. Boy, that's going to keep me from messing up my romantic relationship that I have with this this uh, person I'm married to, if I go outside those boundaries, there's all kinds of real life stuff that we're going to look at in the coming devotionals that we're going to think about. It invites us to lives of good behavior. I, I love this portion in, in, in verse 3. For doing what is right and just and fair. We're not talking about the world's social justice. We're talking about biblical justice. God says there's, there's, there's things that are right. There's things that are just. There's things that are fair in this world. And we're going we're to flesh out a lot of those things as we walk through these, these Wednesdays, kind of, kind of wisdom for Wednesdays, walk through the book of Proverbs. Uh, and then finally, I love in verse 4, young people need to pay attention for giving prudence to those who are simple, knowledge and discretion to the young. If you have a young person in your life who needs to grow in wisdom, and, and from what Proverbs says, that's every young person and every old person needs to grow. But if you have a young person that could gain from these weekly Wednesday devotionals. I encourage you to share them with them. Just send them the link and say, you might want to listen to this. Take, take a few minutes and listen to this. And, and if you like it, uh, we, can, we can, you know, I'll send them to you on a weekly basis when I get them. And you can have conversations and help that person grow in wisdom. Today's theme is that wisdom is valuable. It's essential for our lives. And God offers it through his word, through the book of Proverbs. So let's pray that this journey through Proverbs, the, 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 these Wednesdays where we really meditate and think about the wisdom of God will go deep in our souls and change our lives. God, that's our prayer. That your wisdom and your word would be in our minds, on our hearts, on our lips to share with others. God, make us wise in a world where it's so easy to get sucked into things that are foolish and unwise. Make us more and more like you, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, if you're part of Shoreline, as a Shoreline congregation, I invite you to join us for worship this Sunday, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock on campus online. We'll hope to see you there.